So Doros of Sparta is now dead. And the Greeks have nothing to stand against me because I'm just that plain awesome. That's always a good thing if I say so myself, or at least I think, but whatever. Nobody cares what I think, because if they did care what I think, then well, there'd be a bunch of crazy problems going on right now. So let's spam recruits my study here in Koronif. And let's gather our army, because we're going to need a pretty big one in order to take on uh, Larissa. I know it doesn't look like it's well defended, but they probably have like a bunch of stacks around it. They also have that one general up there near, uh, what's that town? You know, the first one I took, and whatever, I forgot. <laughs> anyway, I know they have a Macedonian general up there. He's just in the fog of war right now and I can't see him. So I'm kind of worried he might come down and try to attack my cities, and there you see it. There's a few of their armies. I'm just going to throw in a few units here to make sure I can actually have a fighting chance. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, uh, wait. Oh, uh, I can't move? That's bullcrap. Oh, well. Let's grab a few units out of this city here, too, and just send them in. Got to put them close to this city so that when we fight, they'll actually act as reinforcements. And I failed hardcore. I didn't put them close enough. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm going to lose a good amount of units here. That's not good. That's never a good thing. But, oh, well. At least their bellies are full with the flesh of their victims from that last battle. Yep. I should write a cookbook on how to cook humans. You know, I actually did look up how to cook humans once for, like, the laughs, you know? And this one guy, like, perfected the whole science of it. He basically said that the only real edible meat on a human being that's even worth eating would have to be, like, the thigh meat. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about cannibalism in the middle of a Rome Total War game. How entertained are you? If you're entertained, uh, there might be something wrong, I'm just saying. No, I'm messing with you guys. I'm pretty weird for looking that up in the first place, but, you know, whatever. It's just for the hell of it, you know? And, you know, they think we're gonna attack Larissa, so I was like, you know... Instead of attacking Larissa, I think I might just go around and attack the cities in the back. I thought they would be uh, not as defended, so this would be a perfect time just to mess with Macedon. Uh, suitable husband? No. He's not suitable enough. He needs better stats. I was looking for like a crazy guy to come along who has some serious stats, but I guess, you know, that's going to be pretty difficult. But oh well, I can always dream, can I? I think I can. And I will. You can't tell me what to do. If I want to be a frozen fish in somebody's freezer that is suffering from freezer burn, what can you do? Exactly nothing. And we're surrounded by a bunch of crap armies the Macedonians have thrown at us. There ain't a lot of units in them, but... You know, it's still a problem because we're kind of surrounded, so let's take this battle to the map. Yeah, yeah, we get it. You love giving speeches, but nobody really cares about your speeches because they want to listen to me. Because I'm just that amazing. Not really. Ow. God. Well, that just sort of killed my epic level. I sort of just smacked my hand on my desk here pretty hard. Oh, well. It wasn't that hard, but you get the idea. Just sort of took me by surprise. Yeah, let's put the archers up front here. Everything should be good. Group them up and prepare for battle. And as you can tell by the map right now, we're pretty much surrounded by Macedonian units. And I'm sorry for all the Skype noises that are happening in the background. I forgot to turn off Skype and my friends decided to talk and call me at the same time, so it was kind of weird. So like all you'll hear is like beeping from time to time or like a weird like nee nee sounds. That's actually them calling me or typing or whatever. My army looks pretty awesome if you zoom in. Don't you just love how like organized they are? Well, it's not very organized right now, but you get the idea. They're just walking like, yeah, time for battle. Today we will die 
for the head of the family and I'm like yes you will and they're like yes we will and it's like yeah that's exactly what I said but they just don't seem to get it so we're just gonna sit here and let our archers scrimmish from a distance they're gonna take some casualties from the arrows I think I don't know depends on how well armored they are but as soon as they get close my peltists are just gonna toss their spears as you can see and once they get even closer, my Hastati and my Principes are going to throw their Pila. So they're going to get a ton of casualties before they even get close. And that's going to allow me to easily surround and destroy them. Yeah, everything's going according to plan. Just look at all the casualties. Don't you just love it? They're getting rained on with, like, a serious amount of missiles. My archers are in skirmish mode and they're running to the back of that. And now, we just have to surround them. Time to bring the people in on the sides. And this should be game. Well, not game yet, but game for this one. We still got a few other armies to deal with. One, two, three, four, four other armies. They're a lot smaller though. I think I just took out the main army, but I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> Those guys are getting shot in the back from the archers. That's hilarious. Let's uh, pull this unit back before they get into a fight they can't handle. Want to regroup them up, keep them all in formation, you know. Uh, the other armies should be getting here soon. I have one unit over here just chasing some of these uh, spear units, but they don't need to do that. You know what, I could fight the spear unit, but I don't think I'm going to do that right now. I think I'm just going to run them around and bring it back into the formation. Yeah, that's the plan so far. I'm going to get them back in formation and have them take on this other army before it has the chance to uh, regroup with the others and form its own little formation. If they do that, it'll be a little bit harder, but if I take them on one at a time, I should have a pretty good win chance. They don't have much of an army anyway, it's just two militia hoplites and one unit of light lancers. Yeah. Pretty pathetic if you ask me, but oh well. We all can't be the glorious broody eye army, now can we? Because if we were, there would be serious problems. Or at least that's what I've been told. Nah, no, I'm joking. Yeah, they're gonna charge headfirst into my Peltas here, so I'm just gonna bring up my Principes and have them charge straight into the Light Lancers. This is gonna... Yeah. They've already started the route, and we've killed their general. So that's pretty good. Now I'm gonna bring the Principes around and get a flank charge here on them. Also bring the others up here and surround them. God That's the game. The enemy's They're getting slaughtered are right now. now they flee. So, we've eliminated two of the armies so far. So now we gotta move on to the third. Actually, I think uh, there's still a few units around us. I can't tell if they're remains from the other army we destroyed. Or if they're actually reinforcements who just got close while we weren't paying attention. But there are some behind us, so... You know, I should probably flip my dudes around. Then again, I have them outnumbered, so I could just easily surround them here and kill them off. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Oh, and watch that. They even got out of phalanx mode. Like, what the heck were they thinking? They just gave up their only advantage, and now they're gonna get surrounded and destroyed. That was easy. See, the AI in Rome Total War ain't that good. It makes a lot of stupid little decisions that usually ends up messing with it big time. Even if it has a bigger army, it usually sends like one unit at a time at you. Like, I don't know what it's thinking. It's an, it's an AI, you know, it's old, it's outdated, but the game's still fun, you know? It's satisfying when you take over land, you know? In any game you play. No matter the game, you enjoy it, and you know it. Yeah. What's going on here? Okay, these guys are starting to move out. That's a good thing. So half the Macedonian army's gone now. 